So I had this dream that I was in a basement. I was unfamiliar with the basement, um, but it was I was aware of the fact that I lived there in the dream. It was dark. It was real dark in the basement. And I was in this open area and I saw my computer, but my computer appeared to be broken. Like the, the screen was tilted and it just kept on flashing on and off. And then as I'm looking around this unfamiliar place, um, out of the shadows, out of a corner, my mother is coming at me with this wild look in her eyes. Like a look that I had never seen on her face before. A look in her eyes that I had never seen before. And she was coming at me wanting to fight me. And so the Holy Spirit told me it's a demon. And so I, in the dream, I was scared, but it felt so lifelike. I felt very present in the dream. And I was like, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. <laughs> I was just saying the name of Jesus. And then I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me and he said, Brandy, you're just speaking the name of Jesus over it. He said, you have to command a demon. So then I said, in the name of Jesus, demon, I command you to go away. So at that moment, my mom stopped. She paused, but she still had that wild look in her eye. And then she started coming at me again. And then it came to my remembrance. A scripture came to my remembrance. It's Luke 10, 19. And I said, behold, the Lord Jesus Christ has given me authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all of the power of the enemy and Nothing shall by any means harm me. In the name of Jesus Christ, demon, I command you to go. When that happened, when I said that, then my mother's whole countenance changed. She wasn't trying to attack me anymore. The wild look that was in her eyes was gone, the demon was gone. And that is how the Holy Spirit taught me to cast out demons through a dream. God has given me many dreams. God has taught me many things, um, not all at the same time, you know, just different times and different ways. Sometimes he'll give me a vision Sometimes I'll have dreams. Sometimes I will hear his voice and he will uh, just speak to me. Uh, sometimes I'll be meditating and he'll he'll meet me in that meditation. Um, sometimes he speaks to me through while I'm reading the Bible. Um, the scriptures will uh, bring peace to my soul and, and they will speak directly exactly answer whatever questions that I'm having. There's many different ways that uh, God, sometimes he speaks to me through music. Sometimes he, he'll he He'll speak to me through a billboard. God, you know, God is metaphysical. He is not limited to any of this. He created all of it. So he's not limited to any of it. Uh, anyway, so I write my dreams down when God gives me a dream and he teaches me anything. When he says anything to me, I write it down so that I can go back to it and, and keep it fresh in my mind and, and, and not let it go. Um, so I want to take you further 
because I learned in the Bible, the Lord Jesus was teaching about casting out demons. I think it's Matthew 12 and um, 42 or I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, the Lord Jesus teaches on casting demons out and he says when a demon is cat comes out of a man it goes into dry places and can find no rest and after a while it says to itself i will go back to my house talking about the man and it goes back to that man, it returns back to that person, and it brings seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And when he finds that man or that person, and he finds them all swept and clean inside, because now there's peace, and he's the demon is gone, and so he's clean inside. The unclean thing is gone, but he's not full of the Holy Spirit. He's empty. That's the thing. But anyway, when he comes back and he finds the man empty and clean inside, he comes back in and brings seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And the end state of that person is worse than before. So that scripture troubled me. After God taught me how to cast demons out, um, I, that scripture just riddled my mind and I was like, God, there was a different time where, um, I, um, was growing in the spirit and God was teaching me more. And so I, I asked God because, um, God kept wanting me to pray for people and I would cast, I would command any demons that were attacking them to, to, you know, go out of their lives and I would bind them. But then those demons that I was casting out, they were coming back to try to attack me. But this is what this is the explanation that the Holy Spirit gave me when they would come back to try to attack me because they could not attack the person that they were assigned to anymore. They wouldn't find me. They would find the Holy Spirit and they would flee from me, but then they would go and attack the person closest to me, which was my son. And I remember one day. My son uh, got sent to the office three times. Three different boys bullied my son in the same day, um, just coming after him. And that was the explanation that God gave me that morning because I was just like, God, what is going on? You know, my son never gets in trouble. He, he never uh, has to go to the office. And three times in one day, what is this? Um, but I had been praying for people and praying for people and praying for people. And, um, and you know, I was just uh, on, a, on, on my spiritual walk. And um, so God told me that those demons that I was binding for those people, they were assigned to those people. And when those, when I would bind them, they couldn't attack who they were assigned to anymore. So instead of sitting around idle they figured they're gonna come and get me but instead of finding me they found the holy spirit that was within me and it was strong and so they wouldn't dare come near me but they were attacking my son so that instigated a conversation with the lord that i had i was like god where can I tell these demons to go so that they don't return? I was like, because this is scaring me. This is scaring me. I, you know, and I did not want to not obey God 
and not pray for people. Um, but I definitely didn't want all these extra battles on my plate either. You know, I don't want to fight all their demons and I don't want them coming and harassing my child. And so I was like, God, where, where do I tell the demons to go so that they can't return? He said one word, asunder. I heard it loud and clear. I did not know what asunder meant. I had I was unfamiliar with the word. So I had to go look it up. Yes, God is muy inteligente. And so plenty of times he says things to me, words to me that I don't know what they mean. I've never heard it before. I have to go look it up, you know. I have to do homework sometimes. Um and, you know, you just going to have that because God is wiser than all of us. So anyway, I had to look the word up. It means in pieces. I asked God, where do I tell these demons to go so that they don't ever return and they don't come back? Where do I tell the demons to go? In pieces, he said. Kill yourself, devil. Explode yourself, devil. God. <laughs> God is gangster. <laughs> With his enemies, he is no joke. God is amazing. And um, yes, God is, he can be a savage. But anyway, um, so... Now, I put, I, you know, God takes us from faith to faith, from glory to glory. We learn line upon line, precept upon precept. We, you, you study and you grow in this relationship with God. Uh, and as you learn more, then you can do more and you get more powerful as you get more knowledgeable. So uh, what I have put together from the lessons that God has taught me about casting out demons and telling them where to go using uh, my authority that Jesus has given me from Luke 10, 19. And all of this is scripture based. You can find all of this in the Bible, okay? Luke 10, 19, it, it, it breaks down your authority that Jesus Christ has given you, you know, when you accept Jesus Christ, you are his child. You are, you know, and if you go study him and, and learn of his ways, then you're his disciples, you know, but you have this authority over to trample over serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy. And you need, you have to, you have to let the devil or any demon know that you know who you are, you know whose you are, and you know the authority that comes with that. Just like a police officer could be built like Barney Fife from, um, leave it, what is the show? Uh, Mayberry, whatever that show was, Andy Griffith show. Okay, look it up. I know y'all are young. But there was a police officer named Barney Fife. I swear the man looked like he weighed uh, 110 pounds soaking wet. Okay, just skinny. And he was scared of everything. He would handle his gun like, oh, 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 oh. But he had a police uniform on, right? Just like today, any person can have a police uniform on. And that gives them the authority to walk out into traffic, okay? You have 18-wheeler trucks. You have little teeny Fiats. Any of them could kill a person easily, okay? But in his uniform and with his badge present, he can walk out into that traffic, stop everything and everybody, you better obey him or else you're going to have to deal with 
the police department, the whole judicial system that is backing that badge. That's what authority is. You don't have to be the biggest. You don't have to be the baddest. You don't have to be the strongest. The power is in that word that is backing you. The power is in Jesus Christ and all of heaven that is backing you, okay? You don't have to be Saint Ignatius to get a response from God. That's what Jesus Christ died for, to give the Holy Spirit to all of us. So all of us would have equal access, open access to God, okay? So when you say that prayer, Luke 10, 19, you are putting the devil on notice. Whatever demon that is attacking you, whatever principality is, 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 is attacking you, you are putting these, these spirits on notice. And you're, you have to say it. You have to speak it out of your mouth. You put, it on no, put them on notice that I know who you are, devil. And I know that you are subject to this authority that is behind me. Okay? God, Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all their angels, everybody in heaven got my back. If you keep, if you overstep your bounds now that I've let you know that I know who I am, you're going to have to deal with God. They don't want that fight. They don't want that fight. Okay? Not when you know who you are. That's how you, you, you become somebody who you not... You're not devourable by the enemy anymore. Once you learn the word of God and how powerful it is and and how to use it properly, know when you need it and 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 what to say, you know, which scriptures to say at the appropriate moment, you know, like um if I'm challenged with a sickness, uh there's scriptures on healing what the sick should say uh that i am healed just all those kinds of things when you know how to wield the word of god like a sword it definitely becomes your greatest protection and a weapon so that's the first thing that he taught me use that scripture and that you have to command demons um you command them to go somewhere. This You can study it. Look at every place where the Lord Jesus casts out a demon. And you will see that he commands them to go somewhere. Okay? He commands them. He don't play with them. He tells them to shut up. He tells them to come out. He tells them to go, you know, and never return. Um... He commands them. But then God took it a step further with me because that that's another thing. Once you get into a regular habit of study and prayer, you know, just like 15 minutes a day or a half an hour a day or an hour a day, whatever you feel comfortable doing, but just spend some time reading the word of God and just pray even if you don't know how to pray just say hello god it's me margaret you know if that's how you want to start out just start just talk to god but as you read the scriptures you'll learn how to pray you'll learn how to talk to god it'll just come out of you because it's a natural thing it's your father he's your father your your life comes from him so anyway um you can ask god questions as you grow in your relationship with him and you realize that he's not this stern uh, God just waiting to judge you. He is a loving, nurturing father who is rooting for you, loves you, wants you to succeed, wants to protect you. Can't wait for you to come to him and help, ask for help to solve your problems in your life because his wisdom is deep and it's ancient and he knows everything. So our life's problems are really small. 
in, in comparison to his wisdom, you know, so he can't wait for us to come to him to get answers uh, to this life. This life, that's what he means by man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. That's wisdom. You need wisdom to navigate this life along with, you know, food and clothing and shelter and everything. So anyway, I was able to ask that question, though, that probing question, you know, God, I see this mystery in the Bible that I don't understand. Something that Jesus was teaching, the Lord Jesus was teaching about the behavior of demons. And I, I want to be protected from that, you know, how, what do I say? And he answered it. And so I put all those things together and now that is what I say. God taught me, he gave me a vision um, that, well, he, the prayer that I say to bind every demon and to bind all the principalities and all the power of the enemy and bind them um, from my life and from my, my children and children, children's lives. Um, God told me that I need to say that prayer over myself every day because, and this is where the vision came. I saw a vision and I saw Satan standing in front of what looked like an ocean of demons. You know how you go to the ocean or you go to the sea and as far as you look in this direction and as far as you look in that direction, all you see is beach and, and, and the sea. And as far out as you can see, all you can see is water. Well, it was like Satan was standing on the beach, but the beach was demons and all the ocean was just demons. It was like a sea of demons. And they were all standing at attention, looking at him. And he was giving them orders. And the Holy Spirit told me that Satan orders the same demons every day to do the same things assigned to the same people with the same attack. They're just waiting for vulnerability in you because you know when you have a bad day that demon will be right there he might not be able to get you this day this day this day that day that you know and so the enemy is very consistent with his attacks and, and constant every day so god told me to say that prayer over myself every day um to, to bind all the power of the enemy. And why not do that? You know, who knows how many issues in our lives really have some spiritual origin. The good thing is you don't have to know. You don't have to know. You don't have to be all powerful. You don't have to fight all these demons. That is God's job. The battle is the Lord's. You just need to let him have it. Give it to him. But if you don't know how to give it to him, then you 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 suffer. My my children many Many Christians perish for lack of knowledge. Many children of God perish. They do without and, and they, they hurt because they don't have the knowledge. But the knowledge is, is it's in the Bible. And if you ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand the Bible, you will open any Bible, any translation that you choose, King James, the Message, the Passion Version, the New Living Translation, um, any any of those um, translations, and you will start understanding it. It'll 
it'll be opened to you. It is a spiritual book and the Holy Spirit, you know, he's the author, so he can break it down for you. You won't understand everything, but the things that he wants you to understand at the time that you're reading it, you will, and it'll be amazing to you. So anyway, I hope that um, this helps somebody because the devil is real. Demons are real. If you don't believe it, just turn on the news and look at how people are treating each other. Demons are real. And just like God works through people, that's what demons do too. They work through people. They work on people's minds until they break them down and drive them crazy and have them doing crazy things. And this is important. This is important because it's your life and your children's lives. So uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, if you would like to know anything um, on on this topic um, or, you know, <laughs> any topics, just put it in the comments below. And um, I, I definitely read all my comment comments. This is a brand new channel. So of course, you know, I'm reading all the comments <laughs> um, and answering them. Um, but um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Check out some of my other videos. I got some funny stories. I got some creepy stories. I got all kinds of stories, crazy stories from my life. Uh, this is Brandy Lee and I'm out and I wish you guys all the best.